Hi, it's all YouTubers. This is Hunt Iron X, and today we're doing a video review on the Zaku 2F2 from the Gundam G Frame line. Starting off, taking a really close look at the Zaku. A lot of this lining I filled in, panel lined it, so. But yeah, it's got such nice, just like little tech greeble all over it, which is why you kind of want to panel line these. Yeah, it's just a green Zaku with a lot of cool details. Eye, metallic painted eye in there. It's real hard to see with my lighting, but in person it's pretty visible. But yeah, so we're gonna set him off and we're gonna talk about his accessories because he actually surprisingly comes with a lot. So um, starting off, I don't have it, but you get you get this. This is a, this is a non it's a non articulated frame. I don't I don't have his with me, but it's like this different okay good we established that i can put that away now so when it comes to his actual important accessories you get two open hands little grabbies relax like kind of holding the weapons hands you get a command fin you get a regular zaku machine gun you get this kind of rifle I just, I'm more familiar with this being part of the Zaku 2 Kai, but I guess this Zaku 2 F has it. Got a bazooka. Classic Zaku weapon. A heat hawk. And a bit of ammo. It doesn't actually work. You can't plug it onto the rifle, it's just there. And all of these can actually be fit onto the guy, which I'll show here in a minute because we're gonna swiftly now that we've talked about the accessories move right into the articulation so at the head the Zaku has a ball joint and then a hinge at the neck so he gets pretty decent range Let's wibble yep you can pop this off and turn the eye so you can get some different expressions out of it I think there's also, yeah, there's a little, if I pop his head off, there's a little little groove there as well. So you can slide it around manually. It's tough to get in there. Maybe if you took like a spike, a oh, heat hawk, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, no. So yeah, you just gotta pop it off and turn it manually, which is fine. And that gives you a better look at that metallic painted eye, which is really nice. So, pop that back on. At the shoulders, it's a ball joint and then a butterfly hinge joint system. So, get it pretty far out in front of them. Decent back. It's got a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow, but it bends super far. Ball jointed hand got a ball jointed waist but it doesn't really do much other than swivel around you've got ball jointed legs and the skirts do get out of the way so you can kick out in all the directions by swivel double jointed knee bend and it works pretty decently however you can pop off the tube and get an even deeper bend obviously with this out of the way a go probably just a little farther oh no that's actually the, at its max right there so never mind so yeah so you can pop this off and get just a little bit more but not much and then at the ankles you got a ball joint that goes down in there at an angle so you can get some really far back and some really deep ankle pivots so and of course there's also a swivel joint up in there so you can swivel it around. So yeah, not bad. In fact, it's actually probably way more articulated than a standard high grade. So, and it's it's a little smaller, but you can kind of fudge it. So if you want a Zaku that's just a little more detailed, you can kind of fudge this in here. It's like four inches tall as opposed to five, like a high grade. So, you know, it can kind of fudge, you know. You can kind of get it in there, but yeah. So as I mentioned earlier, you can indeed put all of the weapons on him. He can hold everything, which is 
pretty cool. Obviously, there's no place for the hand and the, you know, the command fin, but those are like optional alternate parts. These are all the weapons, so. And it's, yeah, he holds them pretty well. Doesn't really have any limitations. I mean, you can't really go super crazy with it because you don't have as good of a grip on his lower body because of all the weapons, but I mean, still, it's pretty good. Not bad. And this is definitely, this is why in the title, it's my favorite Zaku I own. Even though I don't own uh, that many mono-eyed based things. I need to fix that, don't I? But um, yeah, this is pretty good, pretty good little figure. And now for size comparison, here he is next to another G-Frame with the Blitz Gundam and a high grade with the Goof Crimson from the Build Battle Log. You can see, yeah, like I said, he's a little short to a high grade, but you can kind of fudge that if you want to like put him in the distance or something. You can make that work. So there you guys have it. That was a video review on the G-Frame Zaku 2F. This is a pretty cool figure. It's a nice little G-Frame and it's probably my favorite Zaku I own, just the aesthetic and all the accessories. It's just an overall, it's a one and done package. You know, if you only wanted one Zaku, which I don't, I don't know why I would say that. <laughs> Currently kind of my only one, <laughs> but it, it's good. It's a good thing. I really like it. It's a really good fig figure. Comes with plenty of accessories. It's really nice to pop rooms and it looks sleek. Obviously, look at look at the detail. It is very sharp. So, if you enjoyed this video, like, give me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the figure down below. Well, check out my social medias in the description. And until next time, you guys, peace.